His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess. Dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Well, if that doesn't get you pumped for a game, I don't know what it will. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm KT32R, and welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be starting my Let's Play of The Witcher 1. So without any further ado, we'll jump straight in. I'm going to do it on intermediate, because I always get cheesed on hard mode. That The first boss in um, Chapter 2 just cheeses me every time, so we'll start with intermediate. Maybe we'll do a hard playthrough later on. Keyboard and mouse. Two things I've always liked about The Witcher, the artwork and the soundtrack are amazing. In all three games, actually. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the Mostly witchers? Mostly persecuted by those villagers that are the wandering Blue Mountains the witches were. in the north of Kedwin. The year 1270, five years after the Great War. Here we can see uh, if you read the books at the end of the books, the game pretty much picks up with Geralt having traded his life for. Yennefer's with the wild hunt and we pick up here where he's somehow made it out from the wild hunt Which is later explained at the end of the Witcher 2 We have Eskul and Vesemir Just outside of Kaer Morhen in the Blue Mountains I still think that The Witcher 1 is worth playing in 2024. I mean, I first beat this game of vanilla and I uh, didn't think it was too bad. I mean, obviously it's an old game. I'm pretty sure this come out in 07. I remember nothing. But it's not horrible to play. And then, we'll yeah, the mods is pretty easy to play after We're that. Near in Kaer the two major ones I'm running at the moment are The Witcher Overhaul Project and Rise of the White Wolf. But I have a few others in there. But they're smaller. The two big ones are Rise of, the Rise of the White Wolf and the Overhaul Project. They will make a huge difference to your game. As we pan out to see a panoramic shot of Kaer in the Blue Mountains. Which, if you played this game, you'll recognise almost everywhere in The Witcher 3. Because Kaer and The Witcher 3, they, they paid a lot of attention. It's like you never really left. Who doesn't like a keep up in the mountains? Everyone's favorite limerick. We're home. Leo, get Triss. Near 
is its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. This is a pretty good scene, and it mirrors The Witcher 3, only you replace, uh, Leo with, uh, Siri. I have a bit of a brain fart there. Wrong! You missed the parry! I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always! Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette. Parry. Cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you were important. Geralt, we can... Lambert senses something. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morin. It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Seeing as he hasn't un undergone the mutagens, I'd say uh, probably not. Actually, Geralt explains that to Ciri in the beginning of The Witcher 3. In the training Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's oh. mine! Which is far more competent than Leo is. Company. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Here we get the rustiest sword in Kaer Morin. I just want to have a look at something. Right, I thought it was going to crash then. We're back. And I just want to go over the shoulder view. Camera mode. Yep, we're there. Sweet. Accept. Zoom game. Oh, God damn it. You can tell I'm not used to playing this game. It's been a little bit. What are you waiting for? Now the combat system is pretty easy, you're basically just waiting for the red ring to show, so it'll go orange then red. If you quit, if you time it right, you'll get execution um, frames, where you'll be able to pull off a quick finisher. I mean, it's not that diff much different than KOTOR, really. Only K KOTOR is firm based this is more action based Made short work of him. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Alright, let's go. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the bar barrels just yet. I think that's a little bit later on. We'll have a look anyway. Doesn't look like it. Alright, onwards and upwards. So we beat uh, Lambert up the corner. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. 
I'd say that's a pretty good battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the Sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. The one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Now we should get a chance to do uh, execution here. If I time it right. There we go. And he lost his head. How unfortunate. Alright, now we got two to deal with. You'll regret the day you were born. Nice. Alright, I don't think there's anything over here. It doesn't look like it. The doors are locked. So I'm gonna head on, on over here. Some more bandits to deal with. And there's beheadings going on for days. Mess with me and die. you're fighting the lighter enemies you just change styles so you got strong fast and group so for the lighter enemies you're going fast and for the heavier enemies usually carrying like maces and stuff you're going for strong so i'll just switch back there we go and here with a little message telling you about the different styles look at the scenery a little bit and it's just the same there we go, he's taken care of. We'll get another mix of um, enemy types again. We'll get the light dude probably run right up the front. Yep, there we go. Is that an execution front? Die, bastard! Kind of looked like it. Right, just switch back to the strong style. There we go. short work of them at the moment. It's usually the monsters that cause you more problems. As you'll see when we get to the swamps.
No way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. All right, stick with the strong style, because as you can see, there's a heavy right here. You'll regret the day you were born. Uh, we're gonna have two lights come up behind the uh, 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 Archer here will deal with him. Should have my uh, uh, chance. You'll regret the day you were born. Oh, we got another heavy. It's all going on at the moment. Oh, we got another light too. They're all coming up here. Mess with me and die. Difficulties, food really comes in handy, and I tend to use it. I tend to use it more in The Witcher 3 than I do in this one. But then again, if you were playing on the hard difficulty, I dare say you'd be using the food a lot. Mostly just use it for coin most of the time. Get some screen tearing there. Sure, what? Might just be what? That's really bad. What's going on there? That's 1440p. Let's try that and see what happens. You think it would be fine, considering it's 2070, but yeah, you never know. Alright, let's go with that. That'll do. No more screen tearing. It's always a good thing. Probably should have tested all this out before I uh, start doing the Let's Play, but oh well, we're there now. Alright, so we've got two heavies and a light, so I will more than likely. Deal with the light first, we should be yep, still on. I'll make you squeal. Take care of him first. Got two heavies. Because I don't always play with keyboard and kinda of look at where R is. A strong style. I don't always get the right key. He's taken care of. You'll regret the day you were born. Alrighty, that's them taken care of. Now, for some strange reason, they don't drop anything. I uh, have no idea why. So we'll open the gate. We'll get a little cutscene. There we go. It's always a shame when Cam Warren gets destroyed, but it's about to get crushed even further. I'd really like to see it remade in The Witcher 4. But uh, hopefully they don't butcher that. I'm a little worried about AAA gaming at the moment. It seems to be going down the drain very quickly. But you know, you can just hope that they get it right. Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not Masons. No matter. The Professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, Witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts? I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truce may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a Frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. 
Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside, and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Now you have to equip and use the uh, Thunderbolt because Leo will tell you to and won't let you go in the keep until you do. Well, I kind of wanted to save it for uh, fighting Savola later on. But uh, yeah, it doesn't play out that way, unfortunately. Geralt, let's go inside. If I remember rightly. Yep. Ger what? Bandits in. We just dispatched a heap of bandits on the way out here, and then all of a sudden I need to use my Thunderbolt. When I would much rather use it later, but uh, what do you do? There we go. It's pretty hard to come by. You can't buy ingredients to make Thunderbolt, but um, you can't find them in the wild in Act 1, so you gotta keep them for Ready, the end. Geralt? Mm hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. Well, I should say the end of chapter one anyway. Once you get out of chapter one, you pretty much get all the ingredients you need to make most potions. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher, but I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away, I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Praise from Lambert, you must have some skill there. Most of the time, all you hear is sarcasm. Alright. So we got some heavies to deal with. I can't remember what the sold button is. Key, I should say. So I'll just wing it. This one down. Really need to um, impose that scene for all the rings with Gimli and Legolas accounting kills. That'd work here. Alright, they're down. I don't think there's anything over here. Well, I'll walk anyway. We got the uh, Witcher murals. There's three of them. Well, I'll look at them a bit later. You can't do it at the moment. I have a, my black cat is at my feet for some reason. Probably wants dinner. It's way too early for that. Can't tell him. All right, so we won't go inside. So I had to have a look for the sea key then. Didn't trigger. Oh, there we go. It's an easy way to dispatch a lot of enemies, and it comes in handy in the swamps when you're fighting monsters. Just uh, be careful if you're fighting blood ziggers, because that'll bite you in the ass pretty quickly. Because they like to explode. Alright, so. Most times in most of the playthroughs I've done, you'll end up with 10 orange from these guys. So. That's four. No horns of him. Nothing there. Ah, oh, it's gonna make a liar of me. I feel like I'm at work when that happens. The old machines, you complain. You can't get someone to do something about them and then it stops doing what it's doing. We've got eight. I think we might have just uh, been unlucky. Down into the cellar we go. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me.
The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witches? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. That scene looks like something out of Dove WF Smackdown for the PS1. If you played, you know. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Can do. Now, there's a couple of um, chests along here. If I remember rightly, there's one. He is basically going to pick up flint mostly, but I think there's a whetstone for later. That'll help, because the vol is not particularly hard to fight. It just goes on and on and on. At least with the whetstone, you can up your damage a little bit. Uh, nothing there. I think there's one down here. Alright, all in good time. We've got... Yep, there's a whetstone there. I think there's one more that I didn't know about. I found in a recent doing tests for the um, let's play oh, I may be uh, misremembering I've done that before plenty of times uh, nothing there sometimes there's stuff in the caskets it just depends where you are and what more or less I'm sure that's where you find a relic of some sort we're gonna learn the yard success we'll see in a minute I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. There's a good chance he'll try anyway. And then you never hear the end of it. Right. Yeah, I got that one. Just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, wait a minute. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Now this is the first part that's kind of like a branching um, arc, like it splits and you get two different stories. Uh, it doesn't really affect the main mission too much, it's just you get different outcomes. So if you go fight the Frightener, you'll get a red ore and you'll be able to get a meteorite sword earlier than you would normally. That's if you go fight the Frightener, and then um, you can go help Triss in the lab. Now, helping Triss in the lab, I believe, is considered the cannon option. So, um, we're going to pick that one and see how it goes. But I've, in the, the amount of playthroughs I've done, I've done I'm both going with of Triss. them. Me too. See both outcomes. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. And we get the breach in the wall the that you see in The Witcher 3. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! I'm gonna 
kill you just for busting the wall. Straight up. Quickly, defend the laboratory. That I can do. We can get Tawny or Al from uh, Triss now for stamina. This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. So we'll go to our inventory when it lets me. And that's it there. Stick it up here. I won't, shouldn't need the swallow. Savola is not that much of a threat. All right, let's go in. I think it's like tab for swords. No, apparently not. Shift. Oh, it's making a lot. Oh, Q. There we go. I finally remembered. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. Now the trick first is to take these people out so that he's not powered up. So I believe he can heal as well with these guys around. Not that he can attack him because he's in the force. Alright, now to deal with this asshole. It's basically just going to be a tedious fight. So, drink the tawny owl now. That'll help out with just being able to spam him with odds as well. Not that it makes much of a difference. It'd be nice if you could knock him out. But, uh, I haven't done that. So how's that? Knock him down straight to a teleport. Now, I have executed him before in the past, but it's, uh, not something I've done multiple times. You'll know when you can't attack him, he's about to teleport. Oh, where do you go? There he is. Hit him with an iron. <laughs> That'll do it. I might need that. Uh, might actually need that swallow by the looks of it. So I believe it is just right click to use. There we go. Where is he? Where is he going to spawn in? There we go. Hit him with the yard. Hit him down again. Teleporting bastard. Or not, what's going on here? Oh, well this is most definitely a glitch. Okay, this could be a problem. How are we gonna get out of this one? It should reset if he teleports, hopefully. Okay. Knock this bitch down. And this is what I mean, it's just tedious. It goes on longer than it should. Now if you had better up if you had upgraded armor and swords, you'd probably increase your um, one-shot kill. Ratio, but unfortunately being the beginning of the game, which just doesn't happen. I mean, he's lost an unhealthy. 
the amount of blood, though. He is a sorcerer. Oh, Any other normal person would be dead right now. Oh, oh, It'd be nice if it, uh, you had stun unlocked from the arc. That'd be great. Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savol is eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. Yeah, Savola's loot is pretty random. It depends what each time. We are gonna get 22 orange, so I'll take that. And the uh, sapphire will go for a decent amount too. Sometimes you get rubies. I don't think you've ever got I've ever got diamonds from him either. We got high toxicity too, because you neck three potions. But that should um display over time. We can't get anything from that barrel. Triss is knocked out. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mages I underestimated him. Hurry! That's a bad mistake, underestimating your enemy can end a lot worse. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop! Uh. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers. And something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Okay, now, do we have any p character points would be the question. We have three bronze points. Now, um, where do I want to put them? 
This is a question. Uh, I feel like I want to put some into fast silver because we're going to be eventually fighting a fair bit of um, monsters. Won't fight actual human enemies till like a little bit later in chapter one. So I kind of want to buff out my um, silver strikes. So what have we got here? We've got fast. Yeah, it's just the different levels. So pain 15%. Plus 20 damage. Kind of want to go for that one, eh? What's this? Crippling pain 2. Sinister damage plus 40%. Actually, that's a pretty good damage buff right there. And we add 15% pain. That should be good. Because uh, some of the enemies will actually eventually come across. Especially, probably, well, you see it on camera, but I'll be training against them off screen. Because uh, apparently the trick to leveling up in the first chapter is to uh, go grind on monsters before you do your contracts. So I'll be doing that. But there's missions for every monster when you um, play through the game. So we'll get to see that even if I do All grind off screen. All that's know how to use this. Yeah, this is kind of the, like, looking at all this, I kind of, I really want to see them rebuild Care Morin to some degree in The Witcher 4, and I'd like to see them training new recruits, because after the war with Nilfgaard and the conjunction of spheres that happens at the end of The Witcher 2, 3, sorry, there's going to be a lot of war orphans, orphans, sorry, and there's going to be a need for witches as well, so I'd like to see, like, all the refugees and stuff from the wars, tra like, training at Care Morin, maybe have a little city built around Care Morin up in the mountains. That'd be sick, and have the uh, have Gerald and Eskel and the guys all training the new recruits. That'd be pretty. I reckon that'd be a sick Witcher Four. We'll just have to wait and see what they do, though. As you can see, there's um, some Swallow in there. Should have put that in my quick use slot, like so, because I'm not going to have Thunderbolt for a while. They once laid me down here. Sad, Albert. There's actually a tiny skeleton in there. It's like, uh, I suppose that'd be about six or seven. I can't remember when they went through the mu the mutagens. I'm gonna say like 13 or 14 or something. They do go into more detail in the Moss, Witcher, the, the later games. The smell is heady. And that's about it. Can't pick the um, suet mushrooms at the moment. Right, I think that's pretty much it down here, so we'll move on. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later, I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Lambert feeling guilt? I don't know if I'm playing the same game. Alright, so we cleared out here, so we'll head back up. Have a chat to Lambert and Eskel. Where's this go? Oh, just to the... Just to the elements of power or whatever it was. Circle lapel. Alright. I really love the background music in this game. Just love that Celtic music. Kind of like old European folk music. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. 
I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. Yeah, it's a shame Leo got killed, but uh, when you need something to drive the plot forward... I'll find you later. Alright, so upstairs we go. Which I believe is through the kitchen. There's nothing in this barrel still. Come on, Lambert, get a move on. Oh no, he's just opening the door. Uh, nothing here. Oh, wait. Dead rat on the ground in the kitchen. Cause that, that's great. Uh, what about in here? We have two fish, a cutted fish, chicken leg, and flint. You don't really need flint, and it took me like three playthroughs to realize that it's just like um, The Witcher 3, where if you use Igni, you can start a fire. I didn't realize you could do that in this game. So it makes uh, meditation infinitely easier. Alright, he's down. Did he drop anything? He did. More flint. We're not running out of flint anytime soon. Got another chicken leg. More flint. And that's it for here. What have we got around here? It would be cool if you could swim down there and find some stuff. So, uh, Witcher 1 remake? Have a think about that. Hopefully they stay faithful to this game. Mess I know they come I'm out uh, a couple of months ago and said they were going to get rid of the problematic parts. Whatever that is. And hopefully it's, they don't alter the story too much. Don't take away the uh, drinking with someone to get information out of them. That's one of the funnest parts of the damn game. I mean, you can't blame a video game because people in the real world don't know what moderation is. I'll make you now, I believe I wasn't on the strong style. At least I don't think so. It took way too long to kill him. Alright, we're gonna head upstairs. Where well, there's quite a decent... Actually, I didn't see what... I didn't have a look at what he was uh, smuggling. Let's see, what we've got... Oh, more orange. That'll come in handy. So we head upstairs. I'm gonna find a fair few more enemies. Eskel's usually up here and he gives you a lesson in hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. Yeah, I could hear the swords. Anytime you hear swords, you know that uh, someone's coming. Salamandra! It's because I got the wrong fighting style. There we go, that's the right one there. Just gonna move back. This. There we go, we're back on the strong style. I think that's everyone that can uh, come out of their rooms. There's still a few up here, should be a few down the back. For now, we should be good. As I'm completely messing up my timing here. Again, it's just something peaceful about the background music. Can't emphasize how awesome enough it is. Or how awesome it is. I'm just giving up. Get tongue tied there. Uh, what have we got? Nothing really. I think there's just water in here, if I remember rightly. I oh, know we got an unknown potion that kind of looks like white gold. Nothing in the barrels. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I think this is the light. Oh no, this is the way I come in. The library will be the next door. 
Oh, mate, it's going see us here. Yep, absolutely. Fast off. I hit the right key. And down he goes. Now, if you hold the directional keys, you, um, Geralt will dodge in that direction, which is handy. Kind of forgot to talk about that. We got two bottles of water. Bread. Goat's milk and some lamb. Another whetstone, some more water. Can't remember, but I think the water is used in um, ocean making. Or it's health, I can't remember. Where's this go? Oh, up to Triss. Why is that connect there? Didn't know that. That was the first time for everything. Okay, we come from there. This is the library. How funny is that? You go into the library and there's water. Could at least be a nice scotch or something. Nothing in the bookcase. Just come from there. Okay, where any stout? Take that one. Because uh, interrogating people, you drink them until they start uh, telling you their secrets. It's a shame that never really moved past the first game. So that would have been sick in the second and the third game. What have we got here? We've got another Kedwenny. No, Vizeman Champion. Here, we got a bowl on the ground, training dummy, a bellows pump for stoking the fire, nothing in the drawer, nothing here, what well, once was a staircase, and yeah, I think that's nothing here, at all, just the barrel. have another room here. What have we got there? Nothing. We've got a map of Temeria. Upside down our wardrobe. Some more water. Well, we're not running out of H2O anytime soon. The hell is that? That's the weirdest looking thing. Go. So we've got another two swallow. Calcium Equium. Flint. We have another unknown potion. Again, it looks like white gold. And we have the Frightener. That, I believe, is the crafting so that you can make the, uh... You get special medals when you defeat all the main series boss bosses. So you're going to come up against high level, um monsters and then you can make potions out of them and that gives you like certain buffs to your abilities of course there's a couple that I don't kill because uh in canon and like in my head canon Carol doesn't kill the sentient beasts that aren't harming people so you'll see a little bit later on if you haven't played the game so what have we got we got a monster or a portrayal of witches so indeed there is nothing more repulsive then these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name witches, as they are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. They are unscrupulous scoundrels without cons conscience and virtue. Vertible creatures from hell capable of only taking lives. They have no place among decent and honest folk. A lot of crap. People have been saying that for centuries. Oh, we don't need soldiers. And then all of a sudden, there's a need for soldiers. It's like, we don't need weapons. And then there's a need for weapons. It's just dumb. And this is... Alright, yeah, decent folk. And this Kermor Hen. Where else? What is that? Where these villains... Nest and practice foul rituals must be wiped off the face of the earth. And the evil traces of it need to be treated with salt and saltpeter. 
really hard to freaking read. Complete the deed. So that's another old folk legend, like salt being pure, you can use it to cleanse or prevent evil. Now you're gonna want to load up as much as you can here, because you can sell this all in the first chapter, so I take as much as I can possible. So I'm pretty sure there's another dagger, but there's nothing you can do with it. Got a couple of boulders for no reason. Now, the strange thing is, why do we have a, what looks like steering wheels from ships up here? Oh, it could have been for a gate. Actually, that's probably what it is. It looks like there might have been gates here at some point. That's obviously for smelting. Why you'd have it pouring through the floor, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not a witcher, so it's not for me to know. Now we'll go down and have a chat to um, Lambert and the guys, and we'll look at making that potion. This first part's going to be a bit longer because I'm actually trying to get to chapter one so that I can do the grinding and get that out of the way and then start part two. And then I'll probably um, dial it back to like maybe half an hour, 40 minute episodes or something like that. This one's just going to be a bit chonky because I'm trying to get to a certain point. All right. So, Eskel and... Lambert and uh, Vesemir here. Need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Now, I don't think Lambert has any new dialogue options at this point. What do you need? No. That would be a no. I'll find you later. Yeah, Eskul and Vesemir, you can talk to him about a few things. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Oh no, they come in handy. And you rely, you rely on all the tools you can get. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab. And the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try. But it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide and his lab burned down. Guilt is a powerful thing, I guess. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, and the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? 
Just one, our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have White Gull and Calcium Equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Yes? Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morin, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morin before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witchers and forty students called Kaer Morin home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witchers. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still. The fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. It's actually quite sad, really, when you think about it. Trapped in the place, you can't leave, but where all your co all your uh, I was gonna say co-workers there, but all your um, friends, family, cut down. It's insane. 
can understand why he says at the beginning of this game, uh, we should leave. Um, can I ask you that's something? That's almost of all course. of the dialogue. Any idea who attacked? No. But the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. We'll speak later. Only if only if you knew, Vesemir. Only if you knew. Now you can come up and have a look at the portraits and uh, Geralt will tell you what they are. Defending common folk. Inspiring. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. <laughs> Witcher George slaying the dragon. Alright, we'll head out into the courtyard and get the uh, remains of the Frightener and we'll brew some potions. Pretty close to the end now of the prologue anyway. And that way we'll call it a part. And I'll be able to get the grinding gun. Alright, this is what's left of the Frightener. It's like some sort of fucking spider on steroids. Now there's um two two sets of boss monsters per level that are gonna drop potion ingredients where you can get unique uh, mutagens. Kind of in a similar way you do in The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3. Now that we have all that we can go brew some potions. So go sit by the fire. So we'll go to the alchemy tab. Potion for Triss. Mix. I need to read that, um... the book on the um, Frightener so that I know the ingredients. Gonna get dragged into a cutscene. Nope. I was kind of worried then. I was like, oh, do I, does it cut straight up to giving it to her? Alright, so I need... My, so where is it? Right there. Now I should be able to make the potion. So we go to alchemy again. And no, it's not in there. Okay, maybe... I don't want to exit to menu. What am I doing? Uh, we'll go two hours. We'll go give Triss the potion. this one. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of text to help us out. Alrighty. I think there's stuff up here too. That would be correct. We got some more flint. We're not running out of that anytime soon. There's nothing there. We've got our scroll. That's about... Oh no, what have we got here? We've got a glass of wine. Toussaint Red. Time to move the plot forward. Uh, uh, oh. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. 
What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? We have no time to lose, Triss. The sooner we set off, the better. You're right. Give me a minute to pack. I'll see you at the funeral. Proper Viking funeral here. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal climate. Then planet. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. It would be nice in the remake if you could actually save this chick too. I mean, you can, but it's it's clear that it's not coded into the game to actually happen like that. Cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Well, that's foreboding. Do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Run! We get a look at one of the, well, you call it side effect of the big bad. And these things can be annoying when you get them in a pack of five. I love how these guys are the biggest cowards going. Shut the, the gates, beast. leave the them to their fate. Sound the alarm! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Do 
Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I'll save them myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! No honor among thieves. <laughs> Definitely need swallow. Ah, she bit it anyway. Which kind of sucks. I am on the intermediate differently. What was that? Magic, surely. The beast. And here we go. Here's the boss for chapter one. Geralt, look. The time of the sword and axe approaches. The time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. To it the final age. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take he's care of him. He's not looking too good he in the background there. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the Beast. Someone might pay to have the Beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the Salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the Beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Ah, uh, we'll get this last little bit of expedition out of the way. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Lebiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. We'll speak later. Calm down, everything will be okay. Now, bar guests, skulls can be sold for uh, cash. It's one of the easier things to kind of chain to get money in the beginning of the game. And the Beast Fangs you need five of, if I remember rightly, for a quest that comes later on in the game. So, as we can see, the lady outside was not the only one to die. We've got another woman and uh, the dude that's going to save them all. 
And a guard, apparently. It's a massacre. Alright, with that said, we're going to call it there. This will be the end of part one. I know it's a bit of a long one. But if you enjoyed it, throw a like down on the video. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you in the next part.